Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be coding a reaction role Discord bot using Discord.js. Reaction roles allows your Discord members to add or remove specific roles from simply reacting to a message. Having this on your Discord server can be very beneficial as new members will have a clear view on which roles they will be assigned. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be using our code from our first three videos of the playlist. There'll be a link in the description. The first one shows you how to set up your bot. The second one shows you how to add a simple command handler. And the third one shows you the advanced command handler. We're going to be using the advanced command handler in this video. Open up your main.js. There's actually a couple changes that we have to do. On our const client, we're going to have to actually add some partials. So go ahead and add the partial message, channel, and reaction. Do remember to update your discord.js to version 12 so you're able to use these partials. Head down to our command handler and add our new command. We're going to name this reaction role and go ahead and also pass in a discord and client. This is something that we're not doing in our other commands, but we are going to need these variables in our command handler. Let's now create our JavaScript file. We named our commands reaction role, so we will be naming our file reaction role.js inside of our commands folder. Inside of the file, create a module exports and add both a name and a description. For the name, simply add the command name and for the description, add whatever you want. Next, let's add our execute method. The parameters of this method are message, args, discord, and client, just as we named them in our command handler. To begin, we need a variable to hold a channel ID for our get roles channel. If you haven't created a get roles channel, go ahead and create one. Right click on your channel and select copy ID, paste this ID inside of this variable. I now want to explain how our roles will work. For the example of this video, I created two roles in my server, blue team and yellow team. When a new member joins the Discord, they'll be prompted to choose between these two roles and choosing a role will allow them to communicate with their teammates. Go ahead and create the roles you want to let people assign to themselves. After creating the roles, head back into Visual Studio and now let's add those two roles into our code. To do this, we create two variables. We're fetching these roles from our guild.roles and finding the corresponding role by name. Make sure that you have your naming correctly as even capitalization matters. Since this is a reaction role video, we're gonna need our bot to react to a message. So let's go ahead and choose the one emoji for each of our teams. The best way to get the emojis is going to your Discord server and finding the emoji that you desire. Once you click on the emoji, don't send the message just yet. Before the emoji in your message, type a backslash. This will reveal the emojis ID and we will need this ID in our code. Discord integrated emojis will have the ability to be copied straight into code. However, custom emojis will have a special ID that you will need. We won't be using special emojis. We're just going to be using the Discord. Discord emojis that come with Discord. Yellow team will be assigned the lemon emoji and the blue team will be assigned the grape emoji. Yeah, I know grape, it's not blue. I just decided to go with the grape one. And then just simply create two variables that hold your emojis. Now we need to create a message that our bot can react to. You can send a normal message, but for this video, we're gonna be sending an embed. I have a full tutorial on embeds, so if you desire to learn more about embeds, there will be a link in the description to that tutorial. So I'm gonna be using this boilerplate code that I coded before the video for our embed. If you guys wanna get all of the code in this tutorial, there'll be a link in the description just for that. Now, instead of sending our embed like we usually do, we actually want to hold the channel that sent inside of a variable. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we will have to turn everything that we're currently doing into an asynchronous function. Before the execute method, add the async keyword. This will then allow us to use the await keyword right next to our message send. We do this because our bot is currently sending and reacting to a message at the same time. We need our bot to wait for the message to be sent to then react to it. Now that we have asynchronous functionality, we want to tell our bot to react to our embed with our emojis. So let's run our bot and see how it's currently running. Our command is minus sign reaction roles. And as you can see, the bot sends the embed and then slowly adds the reactions. 
Now currently, if we react to the embed, we won't receive anything. So let's go ahead and change that. We are going to need to create a new event listener that we haven't talked about in this channel. Since we imported client on our execute method, we can add the message reaction add listener to our command. This event takes in two parameters, the reaction and the user. And we also have to make this event asynchronous. So add the async function before the parameters. Okay, we have our event, but first we have to check some things so our code doesn't break. We start off by using those partials that we added at the beginning of this video. Just add these two lines of code as we work with the partials to await responses. Let me go over how this listener works. Any member, user, entity that reacts with this embed will get passed down into this event. We can then use the event to basically change their roles. However, the bot itself is a member slash user slash entity. So we need to stop the bot from entering this event. And our last check is checking that our reaction is indeed in our guild, AKA server. Moving on to the final checkpoint of this video, we need to check that this reaction event is happening in a specific channel that we designated. If we don't have this check, our bots will look all over the server for all sorts of reactions, and we don't want that. This leads us to finally adding a role with each reaction. We are checking this by making sure the emoji name of the reaction matches the emoji name of our teams. So if the reaction emoji equals yellow team emoji, then we add the yellow team role. Again, we want to await for the previous task to be completed. So to finally finish this off, we're going to get the user from the reaction parameter that we imported in our method. After the user, we just get the ID and we simply just add the yellow team role. We then need to create another if statement for our blue team. This is pretty much the exact same thing. We just changed the emoji name to the blue team emoji and the add method to add the blue team instead of the yellow team role. There is something that we have to do as well, and that is create an else statement to the if channel ID equals our channel ID to just return. Now, if we run our bots and we react to the embed, we will be assigned a role. However, we also want to add the ability to remove a role by unreacting from the embed. It's pretty simple. Just copy and paste our message reaction add event listener, then change the message reaction add to message reaction remove. Then head down to the roles that add methods and change them to roles dot remove. This is actually all you need to create reaction roles. Let's go ahead and check out what we did. In our get roles channel, we will first send the embed and then of course delete our own message. We currently only have one role and that is the admin role. So let's give ourselves the yellow team role. And as you can see, we are now part of the yellow team. But let's say that we want to change teams. We remove the role by unreacting and then react to the blue team. Boom, everything works as intended. Well, this is it for this video. With this code, you can pretty much customize your roles as much as you like. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know how you guys like this kind of format of a video. I had a lot of fun creating this tutorial. With that being said, thanks again. Peace.